Hi, welcome back to my channel. Part two is on how to put the alternator back in place. The four bolts are all similar length. There's no problem there. So we're gonna try to slide it in. No hold it. Slide it back in place. And right now we're gonna we're gonna put the positive terminal back. Washer and the new nut. And, and tighten the nut. Tighten the nut all the way. So the the bolt is tight enough. So now we're gonna put we're gonna put the alternator back in place. Number two three at the lower part which is not much visibility there and bolt number four One, two, three, four. Put the put the put the connector back in place. Connector. And now we're going to put the holes back in place. And we're going to use the clamp tool again. Put back the connector for the switch. Plastic holder. Have the ECU in place. Tighten the ECU bolts. One, two, three, four. Put back the filter housing. Slide in the, the 
dog. I just cleaned the, the inner part, so the filter is still okay. Put back this part. Put back uh, the connector for the master flow. Tighten the clamp over here. Uh, put back the the battery cable and tighten the post. So we're gonna put back the belt in place. First I'm gonna put it at the alternator and then the AC, the AC pulley and then I'm gonna use the tool. Gonna use the tool. Put it on the engine and remove the tool. So the, as you see right now, the voltage is 14.3, so it was lower than 12 volts before. I'm gonna go inside the car. First, I'm gonna look outside. So everything is okay over here. The belt is in place. And there is no more message except to fill up the coolant. So there is no more battery message. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.